One, two, three. <sighs> My new sunglasses are here because I'm blind as a bat and I have hit two cars when it is too bright outdoors. God, this is high. Ooh. I have very sensitive eyes to the light. Oh. Well, this is. Oh, prescription sunnies. Holy cow. So I did that first video and I was like, okay, fine. Did it, done. But, like, what do you guys know about Kansas City at all? Like, do you know that it's the coolest city in the entire world? Like, do you know that. Kansas the state is named after the city of Kansas City, Missouri. Did like did you know that? Probably not. We kind of explored Kansas City a little bit, gave you some good views, and then we hit up one of the oldest, coolest landmarks in KC, Union Station. A former functioning train station which is now part restaurant, part museum, part Amtrak station, part wedding place venue, part kids play place. Like it's incredible like what's still going on up there. Oh, my door is going to hit the camera. Um, but that's what we did today. That's what we're doing today. That's what you'll see in this video. Um, Kansas City. Kansas City is the largest city in the second largest metropolitan area in the state of Missouri. It was founded in the 1830s as a Missouri River port at its confluence with the Kansas River coming in from the west. Originally called Kansas after the river, this was a confusing title when the Kansas Territory came up in 1854, so the name of the Missouri City became Kansas City to distinguish between the two uh, Kansases. Kansas City is known as the city of fountains with over 200 fountains, the most in the United States, the most in the world, second only to Rome, Italy. It is also the home of the National World War I Memorial, Liberty Memorial, which you can see right here. The views here are incredible. They overlook the entire downtown Kansas City. It's unreal, you guys. Look at this. Okay, on to Union Station via the link, y'all. And here's a little bit about Union Station directly from their Union Station website. I'm gonna read it. Ready? Okay. Built in 1914, Union Station opens her arms with 850,000 square feet of amazing space that originally featured 900 rooms. In her prime as a working train station, she accommodated hundreds of thousands of passengers each year. During World War II, an estimated one million travelers Many of them soldiers passed through the station. The North Waiting Room, now Sprint Festival Plaza, held 10,000 people, and the complex included restaurants, a cigar store, barbershop, railroad offices, the nation's largest railway express building used for shipping freight and mail, as well as a powerhouse providing steam and power. So many stories of farewells, reunions, and day to day vibrancy still echoes in her walls. Closed in the 1980s, our station sat empty and neglected, narrowly escaping demolition on several occasions. Then in 1996, a historic bi-state initiative was passed to fund Union Station's um, renovations, which was completed in grand fashion in 1999. Union Station is once again a majestic and desired destination for our surrounding communities. She is at once magical, warm, casual, elegant, full of surprises, and wise from experience, but young at heart. Union Station was also the final destination site of the Royals 2015 World Series Parade. Union Station has a commemorative poster, as you can see here, of just me and 800,000 of my closest friends celebrating our championship Royals. Kansas City has the greatest team in baseball, no offense.
Union Station Kansas City is dedicated to science education, celebration of community, and preservation of history. Also, it's like 70 degrees today. February in Missouri. Are you kidding? Also, I'm just now realizing how annoying my voice is, and for that I apologize. I have never had to hear myself talk like this before, so sorry about that voiceover, but you know, I don't deal, I guess. There it is.